Hello, my name's Derek with Mo uh, Trojan Television. I'm going to be interviewing James Fleming from the Wire Trojans. So how do you think the uh, season's going to go this year? Uh, as long as we can execute and work together good as a cohesive unit and just do our jobs, I think we'll be pretty successful. Good. And you guys have already played uh, the Friday Night Lights. And how was the turnout for that? I heard you guys won, but was there any, is there anything else you'd like to say about that game? Uh, overall, we played pretty well as a team. It was our first actual official game, and I thought we did well. We executed as we needed to. Our offense was pretty well, did actually really well for uh, being together for the first time. We had a lot of guys who were coming up, didn't play offense before, but all around I thought we did really well. The defense played well as well. There were some new guys stepping in, but everyone stepped up to the plate. How do you think the other teams are doing this year? Do you think they're a little bit improved from last year, or what do you think about uh, in some senses, I would say that with, with Centennial especially, I think they're going to have a much stronger team this year. They got a new running back transfer, and I figure he'll be a pretty good player. And A lot of their guys have improved and came up, and they have a strong core coming back. But in other senses, with Quinty and Trenton and teams like that, I don't know if they will be as strong. But And there's also a new team, St. Paul's, this year, and I'm not too confident in them being very good. But I do think Centennial will be a tough team to beat. Good. Um, so I heard some players have graduated from last year. Now they're in university and they're currently playing again. Who are who are those players that are still playing out there? Uh, well, we have Matt McDougall at Western, Nick Fares is at Ottawa, and Adam Graves is at Carl. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, well, what we did, there was about five of us. It was Alex Davison and Jeremy O'Neill, Alex Murray, Aiden Bailey McDade, and I. We all went up to Guelph with Coach Lambert and uh Coach Barry Peer at Guelph, he's the running back coach and their head recruiter. So basically, he's interested in having us go play football there. So they decided to give us a tour of the facility and see what it's like to watch the next level play. So we got to go on field at their training camp and just see what it's like at the next level and learn some things while we're at it. What do you think some strong points from Moai Trojans are this year? Um, I would say we're going to have a really hard-hitting defense that's relentless. We're all going to flow to the football very well. I think we all have good heart because that's just the demographic we've decided to have at Trojan football. No one, no one backs down. We're just a hard-hitting team with a lot of heart, basically. Thanks, James, and thanks for joining Trojan Television today. No problem. Thank you. Hello, this is Derek from Trojan Television. Today I'm going to be interviewing Alex Davison. Alex, would you mind telling me about your previous football career at Moira and how it all started for you? Well, I uh, came in grade nine, and I only played one year minor ball before that, so I didn't really know what was going on. And then I ended up starting at a defensive halfback first year, and then uh, we ended up losing in Bay Quinney, and then won Casa, and we went on to the National Capital Semifinals, and we lost to another Aurelia Parkside, I think, Park Street. Well, last year we just had a great team all around. We had every position was really good. Just we all worked together, worked really hard all year, and showed with our perfect record. Thanks for joining us on Trojan Television, Alex. Thank you. Hello, this is Derek with Trojan Television, and today I'm going to be interviewing Owen Brandt. Owen, can you tell me how the season's going so far and what your opinions are on it? Um, well, we started off uh, the first game last week, and we started off against Quinny. We played a strong game. We all came out and played our hearts out. We played the Trojan football that we all know. And I think that this year we'll be able to uh, show everyone how people play Trojan football. What are your opinions on the new players, such as the grade nines? Well, I think that the grade nines, as they're new to football, uh, they're going to learn a lot, and they're going to be able to come out as the season progresses. And so what position do you play, and how did the training go at the start of the year? I play a well outside linebacker. I feel that this year Lambert is looking towards getting a lot more fitness and a lot more running and cardio. I think he wants us to be able to play four full quarters of football and that we'll be able to play hard the whole time. You guys played the lights game last week. What are your opinions on that and how did that go for you? I think we played a very good game. We all flew to the football. We were able to come up on defense, make the hits. Our offense was able to run it as well as pass it, uh, being a very dynamic offense, and I think that'll help us through it this year. What are your opinions on the other teams this year? Do you think they've uh, gotten better since last year, or what do you think about that? I think that a lot of the teams have gotten better. Uh, there are new teams into the 
uh, senior programs, and I feel that even though they have gotten better, we have a very strong group of athletes, and we will be able to show them that we play Trojan football. Thank you, Owen, for joining us on Trojan Television. Thank you for having me. All right, I play center, and what that means is that I'm the first person to touch the ball every play. I'm the guy who uh, grabs the ball from the line of scrimmage, and I snap it to the quarterback. Depending on how well I can execute my job depends on how well the quarterback can execute his job, thus dictating the play. So I was very impressed with our first game. I really think the camaraderie is there with our team. I really think everybody's figuring out what they're doing. I think everybody's gelling as a unit. I'm, I'm really excited about what's happening with our team. Pad level is key. Pad level has always been key. When you're tackling, make sure your shoulder pads are lower than the shoulder pads of the guy you're trying to tackle. They'll go down every time. Aim straight for the hips. The hips never lie. And if, if you're on the offensive side of the ball, if you're blocking, pad level again. You got to make sure you're lower than the guy you're blocking. That's, all, that's how you're going to get leverage. That's how you're going to be able to push them away. Uh, well, Cowboy plays uh, middle linebacker, like one of the middles. Uh, he usually controls the B gap, depending on the. Sh well, yeah, controls the B gap. And uh, he's one of the middles. And then the other one plays Mac, and he covers the A. So we basically stop the inside run if the D line can't get it. Uh, they just need a. The defense should just stay low and uh, get through their gaps fast, and uh, the O line should. Uh, complete their blocks and uh, they just uh, need to keep their heads up high and look at it a positive uh, like a learning standpoint uh, well our, we won both uh, national catapults well the grade 12 this year won them twice so uh, I think it's gonna really try to motivate us to get that third one for us like so when we leave we can look at it as a positive I play slot back and wide receiver I'm also on kickoff. I thought I did pretty well. I got one penalty for a holding. That wasn't really for real, though. And I think it went pretty well. Uh, the big teams, I say Trenton and Centennial will probably be the biggest teams t this year. I would say it's a real good program, the way we have succeeded the last few years, football and sports. Well, what I do is... Uh, uh, on run run plays, we have to uh, block the corners, and pass plays get open from the corners coverage and uh, catch the ball and get upfield for a touchdown. Yeah, well, uh, first game did good. I had a score a touchdown, and I uh, our team did pretty good. We that week of practice wasn't the best week, and uh, we ended up ended up doing good, winning the game 49 nothing. So we ended up doing pretty good. Well, yeah, like. Last year, our grade 10 team, we won uh, Bay Coney for the first time junior, so that was nice, and definitely like to do it again this year with the boys and the senior team, so I know they won Bay Coney earlier, so nice to keep it going. Uh, this year, I'm actually playing on offense, so I'm playing slot back. Uh, slot back, you are a receiver, but you also, there's wide receivers that just normally have their routes they run, but as a slot back, you also have routes, and you do a lot of blocking as well. Uh, first game was against Quinney last week, and unfortunately we lost, but it was a tough game. We got up 10 points in the first five, five minutes or so, and then from there we kind of got tired and slipped away on us. But Yeah, definitely tackle lower and keep an eye on key players on the team. They had one running back that was very good, and we needed to keep a closer eye on him. I'm quarterback and basically run the offense, call the plays, and throw the ball, hand it off, stuff like that. I think I played pretty well. I uh, ran for a touchdown, threw for two, and we basically dominated them. Thought they were going to be better than they were, but I think it shows that we're pretty good. So, Well, we won National Cap Bowl in junior when I was in grade 10, and that really sort of, hmm, helped us to know how to win in the tough situations. We were down in the fourth quarter and we came back to win, so that was that was big. Well, we've won a lot in the past and we have a great program. 
Um, even though the juniors lost their first game, they played well to, at the start. I saw the uh, first couple plays, and they were playing pretty well. So I think we have a good team. We have good coaches.